the heroic tales update coming next week to rise of kingdoms is probably one of the more impactful updates that we've gotten when it comes to kvk and fighting in quite a while so today we're gonna go over everything in this update and i'm gonna give you guys my thoughts and opinions on everything especially the part where they talk about the ability to send out multiple troops from your city with the click of a preset button instead of having to send them out one by one because a lot of people are divided on this issue a lot of people are upset about it they think it's going to ruin the game a lot of people think that it's a nice quality of life enhancement that it's going to make fighting and setting out your troops a lot faster and easier and i'm going to tell you guys exactly how i feel about it but first what's going on guys cheers just a reminder there's a link in the description below where i'm giving away a hundred dollars for free and all you have to do is follow me on all my social media accounts there's going to be a link in the description check it out it's going to go throughout the month of august all right so i'm a day late on this and i do apologize but i've been sick for like four days and i'm really i'm really struggling with the energy here so please drop a thumbs up on the video or whatever i don't know anyway the update's coming live on august 8th okay uh and here we have a new trust system now this is basically the same thing as a uh, call of dragons effectively in that game you'll see your heroes walking around the city you tap on them there's some dialogue you can give them some uh, i think in that game it's like honey or i don't remember exactly but it basically increases their favor level and as you increase it to new levels you unlock new things such as emojis dialogue options story backstory lore and eventually when they hit i think it was level six you get some free uh sculptures of them or in that game it's tokens and that's awesome in this game it looks like they're going to limit it at least for now they're going to li limit it to uh 10 different commanders and more are on the way and effectively they're going to be given golden apples to increase their trust system which I've got trust issues so i'm not sure if i love this system okay uh and basically when they reach a certain trust level you're gonna get an animated emoji now i actually really like this system okay and the reason for that is because it's gonna make our city feel more alive now the only thing that i'm concerned about is that right now if you zoom in you see these little sprites these little people walking around you cannot click on them because they're literally just like two frames a, a second they're just like a horribly animated sprite uh and it's even this dude right here the lyceum of wisdom dude like i don't know how they're going to incorporate the commanders in a way where they're big enough to actually like click on and know who it is i feel like they've got to do some sort of graphical upgrade for rise of kingdoms especially if they want to make a system like this something that is actually like good and usable i don't know that's my speculation maybe they've already ironed it out on the back end and it's going to look beautiful when it comes to the game but i'm excited for this it adds a little bit more depth a little bit more lore and overall it gives us animated emojis which i think is cool uh, across the sea of stars altair and vega are fated to meet again the cheese cheesy festival event series has begun we've been fed of okay so we have esmeralda's uh, i can't talk today we've esmeralda's treasures war of the runes race against time a bunch of stuff over here that uh you know we've seen this stuff before so if you are excited about that awesome nothing new here i also want to notice what are y'all searching okay what is the rise of kingdoms forum search what are y'all doing bro hotter really xx what what is this guys come on y oh yeah y'all are down bad okay please what is going on all right we also have some lost kingdom optimizations improve the rewards for certain crusader achievements that's pretty cool for season two we've added formation choice chest for season three we've added transmutation stones that's awesome uh or the season of conquest so basically everybody after season three gets transmutation stones in the crusader achievements which is good because we need more of those desperately reduce the difficulty of some lost kingdom chronicle quests in the endless war distant journey and light and darkness stories great we added season accolades leaderboard in the last three days of lost kingdom you'll be able to view the governors with the most units killed most units lost. this is going to go crazy for imperium kvks bro i'm going to be so stoked to see that in storage where you can dispatch two troops to join ally rallies we've optimized the process of replacing a troop you've dispatched to a rally you can now replace a single troop instead of replacing both troops together awesome during the first stage of the Eve of the Crusader event, you can now trade scraps of parchment with all governors in your kingdom, not just your alliance. That's great. Um, for me in my kingdom, that hasn't really been an issue because we really only have one main alliance uh, and it's very large. And then, uh, yeah, so for those of you with uh, kingdoms that have multiple alliances, this is very good. I'm, I actually am shocked that they didn't do this sooner. Um, optimize the Plast Glory, uh, Plast Glory event. This will take place after 8 11 so not right at the update time but it says the difficulty of certain stages has been adjusted depending on season great the maximum duration of each stage has been changed to three days for the first stage 
two days for the second stage and two days for the third stage okay there's now a limit to how many hero medallions you can earn during the third stage of the event that's the part where you trade in your sculptures okay once you've earned the maximum number of hero medallions you can still donate to com uh, commander sculptures to speed up the reconstruction but you will not earn any more hero medallions that kind of sucks because one of the things that i do and literally something that i'm doing in my kvk right now so i'm glad that uh this is you know i this is the last time i basically can do it but in the, the past glory here um you can actually get a bunch more of these medallions so i have over four thousand of them just chilling here and basically those turn into uh like compensation chests i think and you get like some resources and stuff like that uh to me they're more valuable than things like the arrows of resistance obviously and stuff like this so this was a nice little uh way to get bonus resources i feel like it's stupid they're changing that i don't see a problem with this at all to be honest with you and it's a nice way for like older players players to just get a nice chunk of resources it's not even that much so I don't see what the big deal is but whatever optimize some functional text in the lost kingdom these changes are cosmetic and will have no effect on gameplay all right cool uh you can now sign into the PC version with your email address added commands to right clicking cool performance design settings okay whatever no no big deal there uh optimize heart of, heart of desire event so basically you can change the commander that you want here that's fine I don't care about this too much but this is going to be great for new players added champions of Olympia and other uh, accolades to governor profile so we already kind of have that uh in the game already you could see here uh uh, you got your champions of Olympia thing so they're gonna add other accolades here which is pretty cool I guess for players that actually play those game modes um I don't so it is what it is Lost Kingdom accolades will be sweet as well though so that's pretty sweet if one of your troops fights multiple battles without returning the city all battle reports for that troop will be grouped together under a single subheading in your box that's awesome prior to this you basically had to like keep switching targets in order to not leave battle so that way all of the reports would show up under one report but now it's always going to be under one report which is going to be really good you'll have an idea of how well that army traded in all the fights uh, I assume in the open field which is nice and then it will also prevent your inbox from being filled with a ridiculous amount of reports so I love that combat optimization added the ability to dispatch multiple troops at once on the troop dispatch screen click the multi select box to select which of your saved troop templates you want to dispatch now this is the part that a lot of people are talking about right now okay you either love this or you hate this and we're going to talk about it okay so here's the thing the way that they have it worded is that it sounds like what you'll have to do is uh, click and drag and then here you'll be able to maybe there's a checkbox next to each one uh so you could check 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 and then hit deploy i don't think and i could be wrong maybe there'll be an option to select all uh but you probably will have to check off all the ones you want to send and then click march i don't think there's going to be i mean based on the wording here they don't say that there is a send all button okay uh but effectively that doesn't change that much let's be real you're going to be able to click all your options and send out multiple armies all at once and i have said in the past that i want this feature and now we are getting it and the reason that i want it is because i'm lazy okay i want to if i want to barb something I don't want to spend 30 seconds sending out armies bro it's annoying okay so what does this mean for war what does this mean for kvk all right here is what i suspect is going to happen will this change the game yes this is absolutely going to change how defense is performed in kvk here's the thing though i think that this will change how people play the game it is way more dangerous to walk past enemy cities now because if you walk past a well or even just a dolphin uh they it's gonna hurt to get instant four five six seven x swarmed right away okay that's gonna suck uh so that is the biggest concern that people have now here is my thoughts on this okay um if you are if you're used to walking through and walking past enemy cities in kvk uh regularly then this is going to be a difficult thing to adjust to it is going to suck to get caught by that 5x swarm or that 7x swarm uh but let's just look at this from like a logical perspective right um it's probably not realistic to expect to be able to walk safely through enemy territory i mean think about that that's what people are complaining about it's going to be really dangerous to walk past enemy cities yeah that's what war is you're in enemy territory like you now have to think twice if you want to walk through enemy cities okay uh is this going to be overpowered maybe okay maybe uh and i think this is really going to be it's going to play a big role in flag defense it is now going to be 
a little bit easier to defend flags and probably to defend fortresses as well with the ability to have a few whales around that flag who can instantly pop out of their city and effectively 5x or 7x swarm down uh an army nearby that flag that you know typically you would group around a flag as long as there's no aoe in the flag uh when a rally launches now they can instantly jump out and hit one of your armies with five marches and then retreat back that's going to be more dangerous now they could also instantly swarm a rally i mean think about it if you have you know 300 000 troop capacity times seven that's over two million troops and so being able to swarm a rally with two million troops that's going to hurt the rally pretty hard but is that a bad thing i think people look at this as change and they think change is bad is it bad i don't know we'll have to see right we'll have to see um but i don't think like i think players are going to adjust to this change and in six months it's not going to be a big deal okay that's what i think i could be wrong I i'm willing to admit that i could be wrong about this but i personally think that before this change right it was pretty easy to swarm down flags let's just be real okay if you had a couple of uh whales in your kingdom with max tech enough really good swarming armies you could launch a rally and once that garrison once that flag is to like half health you just swarm it down right and I think historically over the past year or two um it's been pretty easy to swarm down flags so perhaps this is Lilith's attempt at making it a little bit harder to just burn flags whenever you want and I think that we're going to see that be the case. I think it will be harder to take down enemy flags now because defense will be able to just jump on your rallies, jump on the armies there. And as offense, you will have to think about, is it safe for me to walk past enemy cities? And I think again, from a logical perspective, that's, you should have to think about that. Like it's a war game. You shouldn't be able to just walk around wherever you want, right? I think there should be some risk to it. And now that risk is very, very high. So think twice before you walk through enemy territory now the problem with this and and some people are saying oh well now you can 7x reinforce a flag right which I don't really think that's uh, that's not that big of a deal in my opinion right uh and really like let's be real if your offense on a flag right if your rally and your your push on a flag can be stopped by two whales like you probably weren't gonna take that flag enemy like, let's just be real okay if you know seven times swarms times two whales if 14 armies in the field can stop your offensive in its tracks I don't know bro I feel like you probably weren't gonna take that flag regardless that's my thoughts on it we'll have to see how that plays out this also is gonna make tanky rallies way more important for sure I think infantry rallies just got a sort of a pseudo buff for this right there's going to be times now where you want to rally with infantry because you know it's going to get swarmed by somebody and it's going to trade the best okay so that's another thing that is going to come of this i think that is definitely going to be the case the biggest problem that i see with this is that forts are already broken brother we know it you know it i know it everyone knows it okay a wall of forts should not be an effective strategy bro it's so annoying it's so annoying i cannot express to you how stupid a wall of forts is and the fact that it's been in the game since like day one right it's an obnoxious okay let's just let's just call it what it is i hate the strategy i think everyone kind of hates the strategy forts burn too slow it's annoying now i don't know what the solution is to this if it's just a flat like reduction or a, a flat increase in burden speed of uh forts like maybe that is it i don't know maybe there can be a king's skill that increases the burn speed or something i'm not sure okay i, I don't know i don't know i'm not a game dev uh but i hate the current state that forts are in and i've hated it for a while i think that this is going to make defending forts even easier and it was already annoying so this is gonna have some good and some bad uh but at the end of the day the real problem in my opinion is not this okay uh sorry this it's not this the problem is forts that's my opinion all right um so again I think maybe this will teeter the balance towards being able to have an easier time defending and maybe it will be harder to just have well swarm down flags now perhaps that's the case okay uh and also people are looking at this as only a negative thing but remember you and your kingdom can do this too right so you have the ability to do this as well it's basically an even playing field and if you say well the enemy has more whales well then great news you probably weren't going to win that one anyway okay so like I'm just calling it how it is guys uh I think that overall 
I'm excited for this change I'm excited to see how it changes the game it will change the game some people don't like change and I understand that will it break the game I don't think so is it gonna ruin the game no dude it's not gonna ruin the game okay uh call of dragons has this feature it's fine grand cross age of titans has this feature it's fine other games do this a rise of kingdoms is kind of the outlier okay uh so rise of kingdoms is just catching up to everyone else already doing it all right and also you got to remember if a well is constantly 7x warming rallies or you know 7x warming things like let's say you have a murder ball of 35 armies right and they send out their seven like yeah the one dude they're hitting is going to get melted but they're overall probably going to lose that exchange or they're just going to run back to their city right uh and so it's either going to be really expensive to keep them doing that for a while or you're eventually going to punch through that that defense okay uh, that's my assumption that's my opinion i could be wrong i'm i'm willing to admit that i could be wrong but i just don't want to sit here and say this is a bad change because I, again, there's so many other games that already have this. Like, I, I just feel like the evidence, there's no evidence really until we see it in the game and it's breaking the game. I'm not willing to say that this is a bad change. I think everyone's just a, a little bit nervous about a change happening. And I can understand that this is a pretty big change. To be honest with you, I'm excited to see how it goes. Now you have to be more careful walking through enemy territory. And I think that's the way that it should be added garrison plans for your city's garrison commanders. If one of your default garrison commanders isn't in your city or with city will switch to the next available garrison plan. This is awesome. Again, other games already do this. So I'm happy to see rise of kingdoms adapting this, but effectively what this means is you're going to have your main garrison and then you're going to have like a second and a third option i don't know how many they're going to give you uh but basically it'll be like a backup garrison and then a tertiary garrison so that way you know if your zenobia yss is in a flag then it will default to your second best garrison which maybe has something with heraclius or martel or whatever the case might be so um that's cool uh, really like you shouldn't be taking city rallies anyway but it is nice that you can now do that when dispatching troops to join a rally or garrison if there are multiple recommended troop types the system will prioritize adding recommended troop types when creating a default troop in descending order okay so basically what they mean by this is that when you launch a rally or you're in a garrison you can choose uh the different troop types that you want added to that rally or that garrison so my assumption is that instead of a checkbox it will show a number one for the first one that you click and then a number two for the second one you click three that's my assumption of how this is going to work and so that you as the leader will be able to say okay this is mainly a cavalry garrison but you could also maybe add infantry if you have it that's how I think this will work and then you as the person reinforcing my assumption is that when you go to tap reinforce it will automatically populate with whatever the first priority is but if you let's say don't have any of that troop left in your city it will auto populate to the second priority that was established by the rally or garrison leader that's how i think this is going to work i think that makes sense it you know removes a little bit of confusion it gives us a little bit more control as players as to what we want in that garrison and that I think is always a good thing. Improved tap and hold interactions on the map, reducing the chance of tapping on things by mistake. Okay, good. Made fog effects and champions of Olympia and Ark of Osiris smoother and softer. Okay, I mean, whatever. That is what it is. Change the location of the excluded button in Champions of Olympia and Sorolli Crisis, make it more intuitive and easier to access. Uh, okay. Added a shortcut to the Karak ceremony event. Okay, sweet. So that's probably like the trial of the Ko Karak, where when you start it and you're on, let's say, stage 11, uh, there will be a little button down here with the trial of Ko Karak emblem. You just click that as a shortcut. I think that's what they mean. And it's about time that they've done that. Uh, so that's awesome. Overall, guys, I think that this is a really, this is a game changing update. Um, whether it's a positive or a negative update, I don't think you can say without seeing it in action in the next six to you know however many months i think we will see how the game changes and evolves and how things will pan out um if this does for whatever reason break the game i'm sure lilith will change it back they will hear our outcry because typically they are responsive with things that involve uh war in terms of the balance of player deaths right because that is literally like how they make money right so if like the fundamental core war gameplay is 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 actually totally broken then I think they will make that change and they'll have the data on the back and they'll be able to see, oh, well, you know, ever since we implemented this, uh, rallies on average lasted for X amount of additional turns or, you know, rallies uh, don't last very long at all now, or the number of dead troops per KVK uh, has gone down on average by 7% or whatever the case is. They have all that data, I guarantee you. Okay. So they will know if this change negatively impacts the game and the player experience, and they will adjust it if it breaks the game, I think. Okay but only time will tell I'm excited to see how this plays out I recommend you guys have an open mind to change okay 
think about how this could change the game for the better and i'm curious to hear what you guys think in the comments section below thoughtful comments only anything that is just absurd or stupid you're you're getting sent to the shadow realm boys while you're down there remember there is a link in the description below for a free 100 giveaway okay i'm gonna pick one of you lucky subscribers all you have to do is follow me on all my social media accounts and join my discord also if you do everything and follow me everywhere you have double the chance of winning so make sure you do all of that stuff if you want the best chance of winning and if this does well maybe i'll do it again next month and guys with that being said if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the jube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it while you're down there subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time I with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been I'm Nirk. we'll talk to you guys soon peep